Today, we're gonna be testing out this digital tire inflator from Amazon. It was about 30 bucks or so, uh, something like that. And having a tire inflator is probably like one of the essential things that you should have in your car, just on your day to day. Uh, but also like if you're going to racetracks and like stuff like that, um, it's a good thing to have because you're always adjusting tire pressure, especially like when we're drifting. So, comes in this nice little bag. Looks pretty cool actually. Got different nozzles here to fit onto your apparatus. Pulls out right here. Don't let it. Uh, plugs right into the cigarette lighter, so I guess that's how you get power. So we're gonna. Bam. Bam. Yeah, I don't think I need to add any of these onto. To work. Work. Work, work, work. So supposedly with this, uh, when I plug it in, you'll be able to set the PSI to a specific amount. And you can just like set it and forget it. You know, Billy Blanks type shit. No, not Billy Blanks. That's Todd Ball. What was that guy's name? From, uh, you know, someone that was like infomercials doing the crock pot. Set it and forget it. I'm talking about. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Billy Blaze or Billy Mays? Yeah, Billy Mays. There you go. Hell yeah. See? <laughs> this is crucial commentary. For the video. <laughs> like, Billy Mays. Set it and forget it. I don't know if that was actually him or not. I don't know if the car has to be on. I guess so. The car needs to be on. Don't let my, my ish fly away. <laughs> I need that. What do I do with the key? Okay, so it came on. See this rear PSI. Let's set the rear to. I normally run about 40 PSI in the rear of my car. I don't know if you can see that well. Can you see it? Now it's just spinning on the. All right, 40. What? What? Guess that's too much. I should probably should have read the instructions to be honest. I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. Let's pull this out. Let's let some, let some air out. Falling. All right, so currently, the cool thing about this, it currently tells you what PSI is already in the tire. So that's pretty sick. Right, I let it down to 18, 18.5. So we're gonna set it to 40 and then Not far. Oh wow, it has like different measurements. It's crazy good. Oh, that's a light. That's pretty cool. Wow. Okay, so you hit the power button. <laughs> that's when it starts. And right now it's already at 20, so you just kind of sit it and let it let it do its thing. And it'll fill it back up to the pressure that I set, which was 40. It's probably Legit. 241. Uh, so yeah, I'd say a strong, strong uh, estimation was probably about from 18 psi to 40. Uh, Taking about five minutes or so, uh, which isn't too bad. Um, that was actually pretty good, and it just automatically shuts off. So pop that bad boy off. It lets you know. Uh, throw your valve cap back on. And this also works for people who actually don't know how to put air in their tires. You can just clamp that little bad boy on there and set it and forget it.
you know, Billy Mays. <laughs> It'll be that easy to get you back on the road again uh, if you lost uh, a lot of tire pressure. You know, during those like cold days, um, when you just come out and that tire pressure light is on, just air it up a little bit and you'll be good to go. This will definitely help me out a lot on track days. So yeah. Um, overall, I give this tire inflator probably like an eight, nine out of 10. It's convenient, comes in a nice little bag. The buttons are good, has a light, uh, allows you to set the PSI. It's portable. Um, though I wish it were cordless, that's why I won't give it a full 10 because I hate the fact that I had to turn my car on uh, to get it to work, to plug it into the cigarette lighter. But overall, it's a necessary piece to have. So as long as you have power in your car, uh, you'll be fine. Overall, solid purchase. If you want to get this one or one like it, I will leave a link in the description below. Uh, that was all for this video. If you want to, if you guys want to see me review more stuff, let me know in the comment below what you want to see me try out, and I'll be more than happy to do that for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already liked this video, subscribe, turn the notification bell on. That way, you guys can know whenever I bring you new content every week, and I will see you in the next one.